and welcome to the Iroquois Lacrosse Arena on a beautiful Monday evening for game number three of this major series lacrosse final between the Six Nations Chiefs and Peterborough Lakers. I'm Daryl Smart bringing you the action this evening. Thanks for joining us tonight here from the ILA on Rogers TV 20. Game number one here at the ILA. The Six Nations Chiefs defeated the Lakers 10-7 on the strength of Randy and Austin Stotts. Game number two in Peterborough on Thursday night in at the PMC. The Chiefs again dominated most of the game. There was a pushback by the Peterborough Lakers and that resulted in an 11-6 victory for the Six Nations Chiefs. So they have a two to nothing lead in this best of seven series. But before the game starts, we are going to take a moment to pause for an elder, Ray Football Bomberry. He was a huge fan of the Chiefs. And a moment of silence. Thank you. Great tribute to a great man. Football was known all throughout the Chiefs locker room. Didn't matter the generation. He was always here. He was always sitting in Section K in the front row, always around during the warm-ups, talking to the coaches. Players would always be talking to him. So rest easy, football. You will not be forgotten. And now tonight, the goaltenders. We've got Dougie Jameson down in the goal for the Six Nations Chiefs. He, of course, 3-0 and in the playoffs, a six goals against average. He played in the game one victory, the 10 second, uh, seven victory here at the ILA. Down the other end, it's Landon Kells. Landon Kells has been outstanding in, this, in these first two games for the Peterborough Lakers. He came in relief of Drew Hutchison uh, after the first six minutes and was fantastic. Stopping 44 shots in game number two. Six Nations Chiefs with the first possession of the game. Austin Stotts on the right side. Looks to shoot. Saved by Kells. Rebound by Randy. Ben McIntosh playing catch with Randy. Randy charges shot. And that one stopped by Kells. And another loose ball picked up by the Chiefs. One thing the Chiefs did in the first two games was get that possession. Every time there was a loose ball, nine times out of ten, they were on the loose ball. And again, another loose ball picked up by the Chiefs. Matt Gilray picking up the ball. Matt Gilray, of course, one of the MSL All-Stars selected by the five teams. Lakers on their first set of the game. Turner Evans. He looks for Hogarth. Back to Evans. Evans stutter steps. Avoids a check. Shot. That one's blocked by Tyson Bell. Tyson Bell on the break. Tyson Bell all alone shooting off the helmet of Landon Kells. And it ricochets out all the way to center. And Brandon Bomberry with the loose ball pickup. Great save by Kells. On the breakaway, there's Lyle. Lyle dances around, shoots, no, pumps, fakes. Ball comes loose along the boards, and Larson Sun down. Out to Jackson. Jackson tries to find Ben Mitchell up the middle, but no can do on that one. Lakers with their second possession of the game, wearing their away whites tonight. Austin Hazen. The shot. That one by Tate Catoni. That one goes wide. Brian Cole picks things up, goes over center, waits for the offensive set here. There's a shot, another one off the helmet of Kells, as Kells has taken a pair of shots off the head this time. Via Lyle Thompson, who has attracted a lot of defensive attention here off the ball here. Stocks on the right side, goes one on one, pumps, goes across to his brother Randy, back to Lyle, Lyle sneaks out, uses the ball, here's the pickup, this is Colton Armstrong on the break now, Colton Armstrong shoots, saved by Dougie Jameson. 
the transition game strong by both game at both teams tonight. Tyson Bell first, now Colton Armstrong with a great chance, and both goaltenders dialed in early here. Jackson along the right side, spins around the defender. Withers checks him. Bomberry. Dive, shoots, no goal. Foot in the crease. Lakers come up with it now. 17 minutes to go here in this first period. No score here. Josh Courier. Right to Hogarth, now back to Cam Milligan. Nice give and go there to Turner Evans from Katoni. Courier. The Lakers giving the ball a workout with some great passing. But the Chiefs defense forcing them wide once again. That's something that the Chiefs have done all throughout this series has really forced the Lakers deep uh, forwards and that, that firepower out wide. There's a shot off the glove of Kells as the Lakers go long distance here. Matt Gilray with the shot and a save by Dougie Jamison. Dougie Jamison with a pair of breakaway stops so far in the opening couple of minutes as Lyle Thompson avoids a whack from Chad Tutton. Of course, Chad Tutton involved in that scrap at the end of game number two. Ian Tyler Biles going at it after the buzzer. Shot by Bomberry. He's the eaten up by Kells as the loose ball is going to be picked up by the Peterborough Lakers here. Lyle Thompson not giving the Lakers any space here. That's one thing the Chiefs have done a lot of then not let the Lakers breathe. They did that against the Coburg Kodiaks in the semifinal. Austin Hazen all alone. There's a shot and a save and a great pass by Hazen. Eli McLaughlin with the shot. And Dougie Jameson with the reply down the other end. There's a quick stick shot and a save. Liam LeClaire the recipient of that quick stick. As the ball bounces off the boards, picked up by Tim Edwards. Definitely a lot more than a face-off specialist he's proven throughout these playoffs as Randy goes one-on-one, -on -one, spins, attracts the defender. Back up top for Eric Fennell. Fennell leaving some magic, bringing the ball up top to Bombardier, and now back to Randy. Randy, shot, scores! Randy stops with the shot. Upstairs. And the Six Nations Chiefs lead this one one to nothing off the stick of Randy Stotts. Randy Stotts has been fantastic all season long and throughout this playoffs. As we get the replay here, easy feed, gets the pick. And that all started with that beautiful pick by his buddy Brendan Bomberry. Turtle Island lacrosse working right there. As Brendan Bomberry created the pick, created all sorts of space for Randy, and Randy put that one upstairs, as the late Rick Jenner used to say, upstairs where Mama hides the cookies. The Lakers down to goal. Here's Josh Courier up top. Back to Evans. <laughs> On a quick stick opportunity from Turner Evans. Off the pass of Eli McLaughlin, and that one thwarted. The Peterborough Lakers doing a really nice job of trying to get inside. They've had a tough time in the first two games getting inside on the Chiefs. And tonight, you can really tell they're working the ball in down low, and they're, they're trying not to settle for those outside shots. And they're trying to get down in low. As we have Jeff Currier going to the penalty box here, we're going to have our first penalty of the game. We're going to have a Six Nations Chiefs power play as Dougie Jameson takes a break. There's a water break there. Everybody's waiting for Dougie. 14 minutes to go here. As we have a clock problem here. It looks like the clock ran just a little bit. They thought Doug was a part of the play on that one, but he was just wanting to get a drink of water. Thank you very much for joining us here 
live on Rogers TV. Whether you're on cable or online, RogersTV.com. Brand uh, usually on the Brantford affiliate, of course. Our good friends at Your TV Peterborough carrying this one live on cable. So thanks for joining us. Chiefs work the power play. Austin stops one handed. And that one goes wide, picked up by Randy. Randy waves for the extra attacker as Doug Jamison goes to the bench in favor of the sixth attacker here. The Chiefs wanting to put a dagger in here. Tyson Bell's in the box as well, so I guess it is a five on five situation. I didn't see that. It's more worried about Doug Jamison getting a drink of water, I guess, than, than seeing Tyson Bell go to the box. And of course, game number two with uh, game number two in Peterborough, our friends uh, two and four, our friends at your TV will be covering the game, but it will also be on the MSL YouTube page live and online. Hopefully we get an ethernet cord to hook that up. Thank goodness I don't have to worry about score bugs and streaming and all that. This just gonna be straight up talking today, which is kind of nice. Chiefs work the ball around the corner here. Jake Withers in the box for holding, and now the Chiefs are on a power play. Stotts up top with Lyle, Randy, Shane Jackson on the corner. Stotts, this is Austin, up top for Lyle, behind the back pass. There's a quick stick from Shane Jackson, saved by Kells. There's another shot from up top. That one just whistles wide of Kells as the Lakers escape that flurry of action on the power play. Katoni with the ball up top. Hold on to that, wait for something as he charges down the left side. There's a shot and a goal! Tate Katoni! Great shot from Tate Katoni. Looked almost as if he was content on just holding the ball, killing off the penalty. And then all of a sudden, Tate Katoni using that, uh, just that vision, taking two extra steps as he, here it is, he just beats the defender here. Beats Biles in a running match, and that's just pure speed beating uh, Biles on that one as he blows by Biles, gets the extra step, and he just saw the little sliver of a corner there against the, the post and a beautiful shot by Tate Katoni, and we're tied here at 1-1 at the ILA. We've got ourselves a 1-1 game between the Peterborough Lakers and Six Nations Chiefs here in game number three of this major series lacrosse best of seven final here from the ILA. Good crowd on hand so far as people are still filing in. We're gonna have ourselves a little substitution. Looks like we might have too many men on the floor. Chiefs are going to be called with that, and they're going to be going to the penalty box. It looks like Ben Mack, you know, no, someone's going to the box, but that's just a mental error on the side of the uh, bench there. Finnell going to the box to serve that one. A little bit of confusion there on the Chiefs bench. Now we are at four on four action here. 12 19 remains, 1 1 Chiefs Lakers. This is kind of what you expect out of these two teams. A nice tight game here as the Lakers move the ball. Million up top. He looks to pass. Turner Evans comes back up top. Bogarth with the shot. That one just misses Dougie Jamison's glove. Loose ball. Goldmouth area picked up by Ty Logan. Newly married Ty Logan. As Austin Stotts picks things up for the Six Nations, Chief, uh, Six Nations Chiefs here. Randy along the left side goes one on one, spins, looks to make something happen. Still holding on to the ball here. Goes across. There's a shot from Larson. Sundown. And a save by Kells. 
usually you see Larson Sundown streaking as a cutter up front, but he just settled for the shot up top, and that was easily handled by Kells. Shot whistles all the way around the boards as Holden Katoni gets the ball. Shot by Milgan, butterfly saved by Jameson. Rebound scooped up by Brad Tree. Chiefs patient with the ball. Looks like Ben McIntosh is going to get the apple. He's going to be up top. Back out to Lyle. Lyle stutter steps, looks across inside. There's a shot. Is that looks like Randy or Austin Stotts took a check from behind and knocked his helmet off. We looked uh, looking for a penalty on that one. And indeed, he will. A cross check that you see off the replay here is Austin Stotts gets the replay. That one, that one was a tough one. That's a that's a lacrosse play, but still a little bit of a late hit, knocking the lid off of. Austin Stotts, and it looks like the Chiefs are going to be on the power play once again. Five on four action. Randy up top. He's playing catch with his brother. Randy up top again. Looks to Lyle. Lyle winds shoots Satan by the right hand of Kells. Loose ball picked up by Lyle. Austin. Randy. Shot scores! Randy Stotts has got a pair! Randy Stotts with the hot hand right now as he goes top corner on the left side. That first goal went top cheese on the right. And Randy goes top left for his second of the night. The Six Nations Chiefs take a 2-1 lead on the power play with 9.45. There's the shot. That's just a beaut shot. Nothing to analyze on that one. EJ, he knew where he was going right from the start. So Randy stops two, the Peterborough Lakers one with 9.43 remaining here in the first period of game number three of this MSL final here at the Iroquois Lacrosse Arena. Witte tries to scoop the ball back for Robert Hope, but that connection is missed as the ball goes all the way down and the Six Nations Chiefs will have possession again and we're back to five on five action. Austin up top. Finnell working a pick. Austin loses the ball, tracks attention, and now Hope's got it. Hope running up the floor, looking for a teammate here. Finds Austin Hazen on the left side. Hazen stutter steps, looks inside. There's a shot and the scores. What a pretty little play by the Peterborough Lakers, and they've tied this one up 2 2. Boy, oh boy, that was pretty. Thomas Witte with the scoop shot and goal. Boy, that was a pretty little play right there. Hazen, nice pass inside. And Witte, as the cutter, just scoops it down low. Sorry, that's Thomas Hogarth with the goal. That was just a beautiful play. And again, the Peterborough Lakers have had a difficult time of getting inside, and that's a, again another opportunity. And the Peterborough Lakers have scored again. We've got ourselves a 2 2 draw. So far, 8.50 remaining here in the first period. Robert Hope take Katoni, scoring for the Peterborough Lakers, and a pair of goals from Randy Stotts. Kyle Matisse off the left side. Looks to go down low again. Tries to find Eli McLaughlin was just off the mark. Milligan off the pick. Shot saved by Dougie Jamison. That was a nice nice save by Jamison off the skip shot of Milligan. Milligan underneath the Hogarth. Hogarth back to hook Katoni. 
McLaughlin up top. Shot. That one off a defender. Ty Logan picks the ball up here. He was the man in the way on that. Eli McLaughlin shot. As the Six Nations Chiefs come racing down the other end. Stutter step by number 43. Austin Stutz back out to his brother Randy on the left side. Left right combination these Stotts brothers are. Of course, we might as well give a shout out to their mother, Sherry Lynn Hill, with many of the other councillors and the uh, Six Nations of the Grand River Elected Council in meetings today, and they're watching this one from London. So, hello to everybody there. Austin Stotts dances as he's bowled over, gets the shot off with one hand. And Jake Withers, and he get tangled up again. Jake Withers and Austin Stotts have been going at it for the last three games now, jawing back and forth, cross-checking each other. Peterborough Lakers up top. Curry shot. That one just off the foot of Dougie Jameson and into the netting and back into possession of the Lakers. Tony has it from his brother Holden. Take the shot up top, saved by Jameson. Speaking of Jameson, again, Cody Jameson for the third straight game, not in the Chiefs lineup. Giving him a rest. It's Larson Sundown. Out to Randy. Randy behind. Oh my goodness, what a pretty pass to Ben McIntosh. And McIntosh foiled by the glove of Landon Kells. What a pass. Milligan down on the left side here. He's got McLaughlin with him, setting the pick. Courier. Down to Turner. Turner with the shot. That one gobbled up by Jameson, but the rebound comes loose up into the corner, and Brad Cree races for it. Lakers with possession. Six minutes remain here in the first period. 2-2 draw. McLaughlin with the shot saved by Jameson. This is the tight kind of game we're expecting here in this MSL final. A much, it's much like the second period of game number two, where both teams were fairly even, even where the pendulum kind of swung in the favor of the Lakers in that game. They were playing a great brand of defense and were able to capitalize on a couple of opportunities. The Chiefs were able to muster up a pair of goals as well to match things up. Turner. Holden. Holden winds, shoots. That one whistles wide. And bounces off. As we've got a shot clock violation. Didn't hit the net. As it looks like the goaltenders are going to get a fresh drink of water here. It's a hot night here on Six Nations. Thank you very much for joining us. And as we have a break, uh, it's been a very busy week in the world of lacrosse. Of course, the Senior C Provincial Championships were happening this past weekend, and our very own Six Nations Tomahawks, uh, Jace Martin, the DJ here at the ILA, he was on that team. They won a provincial championship. They are going to be honored in between the first and second periods. And of course, congratulations to the WMSL champions, the Whitby Rush. They won the WMSL title, beating the Arthur Aces 4-2 in the final. And the Grand River Attack won the B title with a 4-3 victory over Niagara. So congratulations to everyone. And of course, lots of lacrosse going on in the Founders Cup. Also happened is there's a shot that one off the crossbars. Eli McLaughlin got one off quickly. The Founders Cup. Of course, the Edmonton Miners, congratulations to them winning the Founders Cup this week or on Saturday. They beat Aquasauce for the gold medal. And of course, the Minto Cup going on right now out in Alberta. So lots of lacrosse to watch. Only game in town in Ontario right now is there's a feed to Fennell and stopped by Kells. Randy was looking to pass to Fennell who was breaking right up the middle.
got the pass off. Shot was off. Nice shot, but an equally nice save by Landon Kells, who has been, like I said earlier, has been fantastic in this MSL final so far. Shot saved by Jameson. That went off the block. Jameson looks down the floor. Finds Ty Logan. Ty Logan spins around as the Chiefs are going to settle here to get into an offensive set. One thing the Chiefs have done in the first two games, they did a really great job of the transition play. That has been the difference in these two games, is the transition play and taking advantage of those opportunities. And tonight, not so much, with the exception of the Tyson Bell breakaway early on in this game. Chiefs killing off a penalty with 20 seconds to go on that penalty is Jeremy with a whack to Chad Tutton to get the ball loose as Kellen LeClaire rushes up the floor with it. Lyle taking his time here. Penalty expires. We're back to five on five action. Larson Sundown with it. Sundown dances. Finds Stotts. Who goes airborne? And has a foot in the crease as well. So if he was scoring, that was no goal anyways. But a beautiful feed by Larson Sundown to Austin Stotts. Foiled again by the pads of Landon Kelts. Just under three to go here in the first period. Peterborough Lakers two, Six Nations two. Courier shot from up top. Easily stopped by Jamison as Brian Cole has it. Brian Cole, he's got Bomberry and Fennell rushing up with him. Lyles trailing behind. Now he finds Jackson. Bomberry, Lyle, shot. Wide, Karam goes off as Brendan Bomberry eats that loose ball up. That one off the crossbar, the, the stick at Eric Fennell. Kyle Matisse down the left side, 2.10 to go here in the first. Out to Hazen. Hazen shot and saved by Jameson. Ty Logan picks up the ball, heads to the bench as he passes it all along to Jeremy Thompson. Jeremy heading to the bench in favor of an offensive set here. As Austin and Randy, the brothers Stotts, on the floor right now. Ben McIntosh up top. Gets a pick from Randy. McIntosh shot and saved by Kells and the ball caroms up into the ceiling here at the Iroquois Lacrosse Arena. 1.34 to go. Austin gets a pick from Sundown. Couldn't connect with Sundown off the pick and roll. Randy with it along the boards. He's attracted to it. Withers and Tutton as Colton Armstrong ends up with the loose ball. Three on one on that opportunity. Great defense by the Lakers. And that's one thing in the first two games the Lakers hadn't done a lot of. They amp up that physicality along the boards and trying to create those loose balls. But that was a perfect example of that as Turner Evans looks to shoot under a minute to go here. Underhand pass to McLaughlin. Kyle Rubich all over him. As Tim Edwards leads the charge with Lyle. Lyle dances, shot, oh, off the crossbar. As a new 30 second shot clock. Comes into a fruition with 30 seconds to go here in the first period. Chiefs looking to settle in. They've got the shot clock to their advantage. 15 on the shot clock, 19 on the regular clock. Austin to Randy. Randy shot. That one wide. Loose ball comes to Austin. Austin seeing eye shot into the crest of Kells. As the ball goes into the corner. And Robert Hope picks up that one. Austin starts with the steal shot. And that one goes up top. Wide of Kells is the Buzzer goes, and of course, Austin Stotts gets into the business of Robert Hope and cooler heads prevail here 
and after 20 minutes the Peterborough Lakers lead or the Peterborough Lakers and the Six Nations Chiefs are tied two to two and we will be back with more MSL final action on Rogers TV in a moment. Welcome back to the Iroquois Lacrosse Arena for game number three of this major series lacrosse final between the Peterborough Lakers and Six Nations Chiefs. Thanks for joining us. I'm Daryl Smart on Rogers TV and it was an eventful first period as Randy Stotts got things going early as he did a little shake and bake top corner on that right side. As you'll note, Watch his next shot because that one was almost similar, but not quite. Here's Tate Catoni with a beauty. He just took a stutter step in there, and that was just a great, great read off the defense as he Tate Catoni evens things up again. Randy Stotts again up top, goes top corner again, this time on the left side to beat Landon Kells to give the Six Nations Chiefs the two to one lead. That was about the midway point in the first period. And a quick response by the Peterborough Lakers here. Beautiful pass by Austin Hazen. Gets it down low to Hogarth and Thomas Hogarth with that nice shovel pass. That was just a beauty pass and a beauty goal. And the Peterborough Lakers uh, playing toe to toe with the Six Nations Chiefs tonight. And that's what you come to expect with these two teams. Uh, and here's the oh, just the first period summary as you can see again we're going to take a look at again Randy Stotts with a pair of goals to Tony with his seventh of the playoffs and Thomas Hogarth with his sixth one thing one thing that the Peterborough Lakers have done a fantastic job of in this opening period this was the perfect first period for an away team right now they they've been ramping it up much more physical than they had in the first two games. They've been doing a great job of tying up the Six Nations Chiefs and keeping them wide. One thing the Six Nations Chiefs, or two things the Six Nations Chiefs were able to do in these first two games were A, they were able to run in transition, and one thing, and the other is getting inside. 
And those are two things that the Peterborough Lakers have kind of eliminated in this first period so far. And uh, kind of giving the Six Nations Chiefs a little bit of a taste of their own medicine in that respect. On the other side, the Six Nations Chiefs not being able to run, but they're taking advantage of those outside shots. And again, they took advantage of the power play with Randy Stotts scoring that power play marker. But uh, it, both goaltenders dialed in. Landon Kells has been phenomenal, like we've said, all series long. He didn't get the start in game number two, came in early and was fantastic uh, for, the, for the most part in that loss. But again, tonight, he foils Tyson Bell. He foils Lyle Thompson, Jeremy Thompson. He's been foiling a lot of these hot shooters from the Six Nations Chiefs. And down to the other end, Dougie Jameson has been doing the same thing. This one's, uh, this one's not over yet by a, a long shot, is uh, obviously with a 2-2 score here, only after 20 minutes of play. Now that we're looking at the MSL final, we might as well look all the way out west to our good friends in the Western Lacrosse Association. And in that final, the new Westminster Salmon Bellies took a 2-1 series lead in their best of seven WLA final over the Langley Thunder, game number one. And it was the Langley Thunder with an 11-9 win, and that win being on the road. And then game number two, New West struck back also on the road in a 13-8 fashion. And then on Sunday night, there was a thriller in New West. And New West striking, uh, being the first team in the series to hold court at home with an 11-10 double overtime win over the Langley Thunder. And of course, game number four is going to go Tuesday, game five Thursday, game six Saturday. And if there's a game seven, it's gonna be Tuesday, August 29th. The same thing goes for the MSL final. If uh, things Go to seven games, that one will be Tuesday, August the 29th. But again, tonight's game, game number three. Game number four, we're back in Peterborough at the Peterborough Memorial Center for a Wednesday game at eight o'clock. And if there's a game five, that one's gonna be on Friday night here at the ILA. And of course, Rogers TV will have that one for you. If there's a game six, it'll be Sunday at seven o'clock at the PMC. And then of course, like I said, game seven, if necessary, is going to be August 29th. So lots and lots of lacrosse, especially here at the senior A level, to go. And we're just happy to bring it to you. And with that said, we're going to take a nice little break here at the ILA, and we will be back with more Major Series Lacrosse action in a bit. Thanks for joining us.
welcome back to the Iroquois Lacrosse Arena for game number two, or game number th four, three, I forget. I'm not good at counting. But game number three of this major series lacrosse, best of seven final between the Six Nations Chiefs and Peterborough Lakers, Daryl Smart, joining you for this ride tonight in this game number three of the MSL final here at the ILA on Six Nations of the Grand River. Thanks for joining us on Rogers TV 20, on cable and online, and of course on cable with our good friends at Your TV in Peterborough. Thanks for joining us along for the ride. Just a quick little brief synopsis. I know we went over it in the first, uh, during the intermission. Randy Stotts with a pair of goals, and then Tate Catoni and Thomas Hogarth responding for the Peterborough Lakers. Robert Hope also on the board. He's got a pair of assists for the Peterborough Lakers. While Austin Stotts, who's usually the one, who's usually the offensive catalyst, has one helper so far. We've got Tim Edwards, Jake Withers in the face-off circle. We are ready for the next 20 minutes of lacrosse, and here we go. Love watching these guys go at it. Jake Withers with the win. Brian Cole picks up the loose ball though. Spinning is Kellen LeClaire as he goes to the bench in favor of Austin Stotts. Love watching those guys go at go against each other in the faceoff circle. I see it pretty much every telecast. Jake Withers, one of the best in the world in all of the crosses. Robert Hope, he finds. Colton Armstrong running, but couldn't connect with him. Lyle up top on the left side here. Tracks a matchup from Tutton. Goes across, finds Finnell. Shot from Sundown. That one goes well wide and bounces all the way down to the other end of the floor. And it's going to be a Peterborough Lakers ball with 19.04 to go in this second period. Thanks for joining us. Lots of Peterborough Lakers jerseys in the crowd here at the ILA. Anna Taylor was looking to get a fan bus. I'm not sure if she got the fan bus from Peterborough here tonight, but uh, it's always nice to see fans from all corners of lacrosse at the ILA here. Finale up top to McIntosh. McIntosh goes one on one. Goes back up top to Finnell. Austin spins off the defender. Looks to find McIntosh. Couldn't find anything on that. Gilray in transition. Smooth as always. Gets it back to Chad Tutton. Lakers reload here on offense. As Milligan starts things up top. Tate Catoni goes across to his brother. Holden with it, stutter step. Brothers Catoni this time trying to get a pick and roll going. Nothing can do on that one as Jameson gets a paw on that with the save. Tim Edwards in transition. He sees Jackson. Jackson back to Cole. Cole pumps. Thinks about it. Holds on to it as the Chiefs load up here on offense. Stotts bumps off the defender, spins, looks to pass, goes behind his back to Lyle. Lyle curls around the corner, shot the goal! Lyle Thompson. Made some lemonade out of that lemon. He just had the ball. Didn't know what to do. Well, he knew what to do with it. But he just kind of spun around, didn't look like anything was developing. And then all of a sudden spun around and kind of off a broken play, just kind of shoots. And that's a, that's the one thing about Lyle Thompson. He's like a rattlesnake. There's a lot of a lot of metaphors you could use with Lyle Thompson, just how elusive he is. But on that instance, he's just like a rattlesnake. He's just kind of looking around, minding his own business, gets the loose ball. Very nonchalant. Notices that Kells 
was maybe a little bit lackadaisical on that, and he just wired that one. Chiefs up on the Lakers here, three to two, with 17 to go in the second period of play. Bomberry goes across to Fennell. Fennell shot, that one caroms off a Lakers defender and into the corner as Chad Tutton picks it up along the wall. Tutton taking his time as his team reloads on offense. Tutton back to Hogarth. He's got a goal tonight, saved by Jameson. Both goaltenders dialed in nicely here tonight as Tim Edwards looked to make something happen in transition, but that whistle thwarts things out. Chiefs picking up a little bit more transition. That's probably what the coaching staff was talking about during the first intermission. There wasn't as much transition into their play in that first period, much, uh, much in part to the Lakers defense who were just finding lanes to close off. And they weren't, al weren't allowing the Six Nations Chiefs offense or the transition to run. Katoni. Up top to Milligan. Milligan. This shot scores. Thomas Hogarth strikes for the second time tonight. And the Peterborough Lakers tie this one up at 3-3 three to three with 16-25 to go in the second period. Looking at the replay here, Katoni all starts. Milligan, that beautiful behind the back pass by Milligan. There it is, a little flick of the wrist. Hogarth on the corner, that's his office. And Thomas Hogarth with his second of the night to lead the way for the Peterborough Lakers here. With, uh, now that we're at 3-3. Gilray tied up by Rubish and LeClaire. Tyson Bell sneaking in there as is Hogarth. Demolition Derby season coming in the fall as players are rolling around, bump, bumping into each other. Of course, this area, I say it many times, this area, especially end of summer, beginning of fall, it's demolition derby season, and that's what it looked like in the corner there. Courier up top comes back to McLaughlin. He finds Tate. Tate dances up top, spins around Jeremy Thompson again. He goes across in a beautiful save by Hogarth as he goes down low. There's a shot, that one goes wide as Kyle Rubish and Tate Katoni collide in front of the goal mouth area. And as you can see, Tate Katoni really trying to take advantage of that middle ground. He was trying to cut in, but Kyle Rubish was cutting them off into the lane. Here's the, there it is. Kyle Rubish getting in the way of Tate Katoni who looked like he was going to be all alone. And it's gonna be Kyle Rubish going to the penalty box. Of course, throughout the season, one of those things that I talk about a lot is good things happen when you move your feet. And in that respect, Tate Katoni had his feet moving and he was full speed ahead. And all Kyle Rubish could do was hold on to him, trip him up to get in his way. Lakers on the power play, Milligan. Lachlan, there's shot and the goal. Thomas Hogarth has the trick. Thomas Hogarth with his third of the night. And the Peterborough Lakers take their first lead of this game, and I think of the series. That's just a beautiful save. Nice recovery by McLaughlin. Beautiful pass by Hogarth, and a nice bounce shot. It's all about getting that loose ball, getting, taking advantage of that little area. And Thomas Hogarth, he scored two from inside just like that. And Thomas Hogarth has three goals tonight to lead the way as the Peterborough Lakers take a 4-3 lead here with 15 to go in the second period. Shot scores! Holton Katoni! Holton Katoni doing what he's done all season long as the Peterborough Lakers kind of lulling the Six Nations Chiefs to sleep there. And 
just with the around the horn passing and Holden Katoni letting that one rip. As we look at the replay here, they're just not, that was just brute force. Holden Katoni wires that one. Boy, oh boy. There is a reason why Holden Katoni was the Triple Crown winner in MSL this season. Leader in goals, leader in assists, leader in points with shots like that. And just like that, the Peterborough Lakers have themselves a 5-3 to three lead here. Lakers looking for more. Turner Evans picking up the loose ball and picking it up to McLaughlin. McLaughlin out to Milligan. That's Courier. He gets the pick from Milligan. Courier shot saved by Jamison. He knew this was going to be a grueling series in game number three. The Peterborough Lakers have come on the bus. They've been prepared for this game number three as they've got a two goal lead here now as Robert Hope picks up the ball. Spreads things out here. 14 to go here in the second period. Very quiet here at the ILA right now. Back up top to Josh. Josh Courier with the shot save off the shoulder. Loose ball picked up by Evans. Holden up to Hazen. Back to Courier in the corner. Courier goes one on one. Spins out. Gets it again. Hazen goes inside to Katoni behind his back. Saved by Jamison. Rebound still loose but picked up by Lyle Thompson. Who's got numbers? This crowd is a little bit quiet compared to usual here at the ILA. Much like Thursday night in Peterborough, you can almost hear a pin drop in that arena as the Six Nations Chiefs kind of had their way in the first period. We can really feel it in the arena. And right now it's more of a tension here at the ILA. They're on the ends of their seats as the Lakers Milligan looks for more. Top finds Tate. Tate beats Rubish. Gets it back to Hogarth, who tries to muscle it. Back to Milligan. Milligan. Tate with a spin move. There's a shot. That one goes wide. Picked up by Hazen, but the shot clock expires. And the Six Nations Chiefs with the ball at 2.20 remaining here in the second period. Peterborough Lakers really controlling things like they did during their semifinal sweep of the Brooklyn Lacrosse Club. This is the this is the Peterborough Lakers that looked like the Peterborough Lakers that were playing the Brooklyn Lacrosse Club in this game so far tonight. Randy up top goes over the top scores. Just like that, Randy Stotts has a hat trick. If one Stotts brother has been silent, the other one is speaking loud. And then tonight, it's Randy Stotts speaking loud and clear from the outside as he spins off the defender. He didn't spin off him, but he uses Kyle Matisse as the screen as Kyle Matisse kind of came towards him. And just for that split second, Kyle Matisse got the stick up there. And Randy using that stick as a screen. And not much Kells could do on that one as Randy Stotts has the hot hand tonight. He's got three. Thomas Hogarth has three. And the Peterborough Lakers now have a 5-4 to four lead now that the Chiefs have cut things down. And both goaltenders just taking a break, getting their water in, getting staying hydrated here at the ILA. Again, we give a shout out to some of the lacrosse fans all across the world. Had some direct messages and emails. We've got fans from Oklahoma. We've got Australia. 
dialing in for this series. All over BC, obviously, all over Canada, in the West Coast, the East Coast. We've got fans out in England that have reached out to say hello. So this, uh, this game may be just the Ontario Championship. But there are MSL fans all over the world, and that's why it's important to bring these games to you live on cable and online. Very important to get these games online and free so we can grow this league. There's a shot by Shane Jackson as he goes airborne to score, and we're all tied up 5-5. Shane Jackson knows how to pick his spots, and that was one of them. He just into the corner looking to pass. He's a pass-first kind of guy, and he was looking to pass, saw nothing. And then just took that extra step, but boy, he was explosive off into the corner here. Watch the second step. After the second step, he was just off to the races. Nobody was up. He knew exactly what he was going to do. Nobody could have caught him on that one. He beats Kells off the, off the Superman. And we're tied up at five goals apiece here with 11 minutes to go in the second period thanks to the goal of Shane Jackson, who has been fantastic for the Six Nations Chiefs here in the playoffs. Uh, heading into this game, he's had six goals, 14 assists for 20 points prior to this game. So Shane Jackson, a major piece to the offense. We talked a lot about the Stotts brothers, and a lot about Lyle Thompson. But ben McIntosh, and especially Shane Jackson, has really come into his own here the teal and orange of the Six Nations Chiefs. Ten and a half to go here. In the second, Randy tries to file, find Lyle. Nothing doing on that, but Austin attracting all sorts of attention from the Peterborough Lakers defenses. Guess what? He and Jake Withers get tied up, and great job by the officials to get those two guys out of more than a mess because we don't want to see these guys getting kicked out for fighting. That was a great job by the officials to break up that skirmish. Let these pros play. Eli McLaughlin down the other end tries to dance. Ty Logan doing a fantastic job on him tonight. Centering pass. Finds nobody in a Lakers uniform as the Chiefs come up the floor. Meets LeClaire. As LeClaire heads to the bench in favor of Eric Fennell. Chiefs up top. Shane Jackson winds up. Shot. And that's a nice toe save by Kells. He's really dialed in. You can see them track that ball all the way into the toe. And that toe guard making the save. When he heads to the bench. Milligan. Milligan's been a bit of a force here for the Lakers. You didn't hear his name for the first two games of this series, but a lot of Milligan tonight as Holton Katoni goes from up top and a save by Jameson. Brad Free, one of the defensive all stars this season in MSL. Hands it off to Randy. Randy, left side looking to pass. Finds his brother Austin up top. There's an easy save by Kells. Robert Hope in transition. And Hogarth with them, but held back. Instead, going to the bench, waiting for a full complement of offensive players. There's a nice spin move by McLaughlin. Couldn't make anything happen in that. Goes across to Hazen. Hazen back to McLaughlin. Out to Hope. Tries to get a pick from his brother Tate. Tate now with it as the shot clock expires. And that's just a great defensive stance by the Six Nations Chiefs. Filling in lanes all over the place. Getting on top of the forward. Not giving them an ounce to breathe here. Both defense is doing a lot of that this evening. If you're a defensive lacrosse fan, tonight has been a real treat so far. Larson into the corner, down to Bomberry. Bomberry. Stutter step gets the pick from McIntosh. Tries to find McIntosh on the pick and roll, but no can do on that. 
as Chad Tut stops and waits for his teammates to recover and reload here in the Six Nations end. Seven and a half to go here. Second period of play. Peterborough Lakers five. Six Nations Chiefs five. Evans up top. There's a quick stick opportunity from Curry. Goes wide. Hogarth. 22 seconds on the shot clock. Seven to go in the second period here. Milligan, there's a quick stick opportunity from McLaughlin. Long distance pass from Milligan as Turner Evans spins around Kyle Rubich. Milligan has been a factor in this one. He's set up all sorts of things. He's done a lot of picks. And he's moved the ball really well here for the Lakers tonight. McLaughlin across the courier. Easily handled by Jameson. Rebound comes out, but the Lakers recover. Fresh shot clock now at 20. Holden up on the right side. Waiting for his pick. Goes up top and tries to find his brother Tate, but couldn't. As the Chiefs are in transition, Brian Cole all alone. Shot saved by Kells. As Colton Armstrong had the footsteps coming in on him. Down the other end, Kyle Matisse with a shot and a save by Jamison. Six to go here, second period. Lakers five, Chiefs five. Here, Kuala across arena, game number three. Major series in the cross five here, best of seven series. Randy up top, finds Sundown. Possession in favor of the Lakers. Got ourselves a real defensive battle here. Like I was saying, it's great to see good defense like this. Nobody's gone on a real, real run here. This has just been a tight, tight game. Something you've come to expect with these two Titans in Canadian lacrosse. Again, tries to find Hogarth. One-handed, gets the shot off. Jamison goes distance to Tyson Bell. Bell, he's all alone, holds back in transition. Nice look by Dougie Jamison. Instead of a nice looping pass, that pass was just a straight bullet to Tyson Bell. Palmberry. Tries to find Sundown, Sundown. Spins off a defender, shot. That one goes over the shoulder of Kells. Ricochets off the boards and into the corner as Eric Fennell plays soccer with it. Played a little boot hockey here on Six Nations on the, on the front pond. Tate all on the right side. Lakers up top. Courier. The Holden, Holden shot. That one handled easily by Doug Jameson. Rubish goes long distance to Tim Edwards. Edwards holds on to the ball. We've got Randy Stotts here along the left side. He goes one on one with Witte. He gets the pick from Lyle Thompson. Austin dances. Air. Saved by Kells, but again, Austin with a toe in the crease on that one. That's the third time he's been called on the crease violation. There's a shot and a save by Jameson off the stick of Hogarth. Hogarth with the hot stick to the. <laughs> Tyson Bell tries to find Shane Jackson. Is Bell with it now? There's a shot and a goal, and Tyson Bell. If first you don't succeed, try trying again. And Tyson Bell does exactly that. As Tyson Bell gives the Six Nations Chiefs a six to five lead. He tried that transition pass, ricochets off. Jackson finds, or that was McIntosh that finds Bell streaking in. And Tyson Bell on the second opportunity Puts her home, and just like that, the Six Nations Chiefs have a one-goal lead at six to five. As Tim Edwards and 
Jake Withers go at it again in the faceoff dot. This time won by Jake Withers. Withers. There's a shot saved. Colton Armstrong with that shot. Sundown to Stotts. Austin Stotts down the right side. Stotts looking to pass. Pass intended for Bomberry, picked up by McIntosh. Back to Austin. Austin whistles that one, and that one hits. Thomas Witte along the shoulder pads. Skirmish along the boards. Loose ball picked up by Robert Hope. As the Peterborough Lakers look to bounce back here and respond. Just under three minutes to go here in the second period. Chiefs six, Lakers five. There's a nice stutter step move shot save by Jamison. Josh Courier with a really nice move there. Made that first step, got explosive. Then he zigged it, he just did a, a zag cut. And that was just beautiful as he zag cut it in. Went outside, came back inside, and had the shot on net on Dougie Jameson. That was just a nice save. Austin, stick up in the air, ball stuck to it as Randy tries to receive a pass from his brother, but checked off the mark as Kyle Matisse comes into transition for the Lakers. Matisse shoulders in, gets a strong pick from Tate Catoni. As he gets the ball now. Tate rolls off the defender. He's all alone the shot. Tate Catoni not happy about that one. As he rolled off the pick. It was like the parting of the Red Seas, and Tate Catoni was all alone with the whistle blew. Everything that was the only thing that stopped Tate Catoni. 140 remains here in the second period. Bombberry. McIntosh shot saved by Kells. Left side, stutter steps, comes up the middle. Looks to pass, goes across to Jackson. Jackson thinks, goes back to McIntosh. Shot, sidewinder, shot scores. Ben McIntosh makes it seven to five, Six Nations Chiefs. Shane Jackson, Ben McIntosh working up top to find to make something happen. And finally, Ben McIntosh. Finding the twine. That's just a nice shot. This is the sidewinder. Different look from Ben McIntosh. He knew he didn't have anything over the top. He didn't have anything down low, so he went from the side on that one. Just a different delivery from Ben McIntosh. And again, Ben McIntosh was a huge factor in game number two out in Peterborough. He came out with a hot start in that first period. And again, Ben McIntosh makes it count. Again, with one minute to go here in the second period as the Six Nations Chiefs take a two-goal lead at 7-5 over the Peterborough Lakers here at the Euro Qual across Arena. Lyle, short shot, saved by Kells. Austin look to find Lyle again. 49 to go in the period, 21 on the shot clock. Jackson shot. That one goes wide. Thunderous bounce off the boards off that Halifax Thunderbirds logo. As Jay Thornburg break dances around with the ball. Chiefs with it. Randy looking to find shoots. Here's a save by Kells. With 25.4 seconds to go here in the second period. We've got ourselves a timeout on the floor. As Landon Kells has a word with the officials here. Both teams taking a break, trying to write something up here. Of course, very, very crucial game number three, especially if you're a Peterborough Laker or a fan of the Peterborough Lakers. This game number three is a big one. As they head into game number four on Wednesday night, at Peterborough Memorial Center. Face off starting at 8 o'clock. And again, our friends at your TV, my buddies that I finally got to meet in person, Pete Dalladay, Scott Arnold, 
they will have the call for you on your TV. And of course, it will be here live on Rogers TV 20 as well. And of course, I will have the call. Hopefully I get an Ethernet hookup somewhere in that PMC and we can actually have a live stream on the Major Series Lacrosse YouTube page. So fingers crossed, and I just hope I get it. If not, you'll be able to hear the game regardless. So we'll be doing our best to give you the game because, of course, I know my mandate here, I want to give the lacrosse world as much Major Series Lacrosse action as possible for free and online where it belongs. But of course, on cable as well, just as important. Our partners at Your TV and Rogers TV have been fantastic. Dave Feely, he's been amazing at Your TV, very accommodating with everything. It's been amazing, a great partnership uh, with the broadcast. And of course, our friends here, uh, Adam, the whole crew, uh, it's been fantastic, a great partnership. This is the second year with it. Glad to be bringing you one of the best lacrosse leagues in the world to you on cable and online here. As Holden Katoni, Brian Cole, well, Brian Cole gets a face full of Holden Katoni's mitt as there's a little bit of a dust up. As the officials have done a fantastic job of breaking things up. So after 40 minutes of play, it is the Six Nations Chiefs seven, the Peterborough Lakers five. I am Daryl Smart for Rogers TV 20, and we will be back with the third period action in a moment. Eric Wall across arena for game number three of this major series of lacrosse final series, the best of seven series, where in this one, the Six Nations lead the Peterborough Lakers by a score of seven to five. I'm Daryl Smart. Thank you for joining us along here on Rogers TV and your TV. What a period of play. It was a defensive battle for the most part. That first 20 minutes was an absolute gem defensively. Same with the second period, but then things opened up a little bit. There's Lyle Thompson. Just kind of finding just a little sliver. He turned something out of nothing on that one. Milligan again. That's a beautiful pass to Thomas Hogarth, who has been fantastic. He's been lights out tonight. Thomas Hogarth scoring off a nice pass from Cam Milligan there. And again, Milligan 
and Hogarth kind of into the fray there as Hogarth takes a step back, fires that one, beats Dougie Jameson. Peterborough Lakers on a bit of a run. This was the first run the Peterborough Lakers have really had besides the two goals they scored in a, in a row unanswered in the second period of game two. But that one was Holden Katoni fired that one. That was just brute strength on that one. And then here's Randy Stotts up top for his third of the night. And you can see by the celebration, Randy Stotts is feeling it tonight. As the Six Nations Chiefs regain the lead, and of course, there's Ben McIntosh playing the role of Superman. He what an explosive play on that one. He was came right out of the corner, saw nobody was with him, took that two steps, and nobody could find him. And then here, this is where the Chiefs extend the lead to two. Tyson Bell. This was his second opportunity after the transition. They were. They kind of messed up the transition there and uh, got the loose ball to carry him off the boards. Ben McIntosh picks it up and sends it to Tyson Bell. And then there's Ben McIntosh again doing his thing. He puts that one away. Second period summer, a summary, we've got Lyle Thompson. Thomas Hogarth scoring two in a row. Then Holden Katoni getting on the board and then the Six Nations Chiefs went to work after the Peterborough Lakers scored three unanswered there. As the Six Nations Chiefs came roaring back, something they've done all season long. If there's ever been adversity with the Six Nations Chiefs team, and again, this is the first time they've really faced a little bit of adversity in this final, allowing three goals in a row. They came right back roaring with four goals of their own, and now Hold on to a two goal lead with 20 minutes to go here in the second period of the ILA. And this has been a fantastic period. Uh, just kind of looking at it, just looking at it, analyzing what both teams have done so far. Uh, the Peterborough Lakers have played a fantastic second period. Uh, they, they've played a great game three so far. Uh, they've taken advantage of their opportunities. They've got inside something they haven't done in the first two games. They've done a great job of that. They've been able to kind of catch the Six Nations defense on their heels at times. But then the Six Nations Chiefs kind of doing what they've done all year. They've responded. And that's one thing that they've done all year. And they did this in the second period. A little bit of adversity, like I said. And they just roared back with four goals of their own. Of course, led by the hot stick of Randy Stotts. So yeah, what to look for in this third period? A little bit of the, is the same as what we saw in that second period. Both teams really hammering the defense. Uh, this has been a real defensive chess match, and I think it's gonna be a lot of that in the third period. And of course, this is going to be a big push by the Peterborough Lakers. Uh, you know darn well they wanna come into game four in Peterborough with a win under their belt. So. The Peterborough Lakers are going to be playing desperate lacrosse and the Six Nations Chiefs, they just have to kind of hold the fort and kind of just kind of play, play it by ear and hold on to that wave. I'm Daryl Smart and we will see you back for third period action at the Iroquois Lacrosse Arena. Thanks for joining us.
And welcome back to Major Series Lacrosse action here on Rogers TV 20. Thanks for joining us tonight, Daryl Smart, along with the Rogers TV crew here. Adam and his crack staff here bringing you the action live on cable, online, on Rogers, on your TV. Thanks for joining us along. And we've had ourselves a dandy here in game number three tonight here at the ILA. Six Nations Chiefs leading after 40 minutes of play. They're leading the Peterborough Lakers by a score of seven to five as both teams enter on the floor and get set for the last 20 miles of this one. And of course, game number four is going to be Wednesday night. At the Peterborough Memorial Center. With an if necessary, we'll put an asterisk on that one until this one's over. Game number five, back here at the ILA, the Rogers staff will have this one on Friday night at 8 o'clock, game number five. As we're all set and ready to go, we've got Jeremy Thompson, we've got Jake Withers in the face-off circle, and we are ready to go with period number three. Loose ball picked up by LeClaire, who goes around the net. Scoops it all the way back for his buddy, Brian Cole. Cole heading to the bench, passes it off to Lyle. Lyle to Randy. Randy, he's got the hat trick tonight so far. Randy winds up. That one off a defender. That one off Robert Hope. And into the crowd is the Six Nations Chiefs. Get another stab at it. There's a pick from Fennell. Gets the pass from Austin. Ben McIntosh. There's a quick stick opportunity. And that one just hits the side of the netting off the shot from Randy Stotts. Matisse going one on one with Fennell. Hands it off to Courier. Courier set to go here. Shot. That one goes wide. Caroms off the boards and picked up by Brad Cree, who comes over. Bomberry settles him. Larson Sundown tries to play the hidden ball trick as Ben McIntosh gets the pick. Tries to go a long distance behind the net. Couldn't find anything. Ball caroms off. And Chad Tutton recovers. been fantastic tonight for the Lakers. Looking to pass. Finds Courier. Shot from Holden. That one goes wide. Up way over top and into the center. And here's Tyson Bell goes one on one in transition. like that it's a three goal lead for the Six Nations Chiefs and guess what folks that's a transition goal for the Six Nations Chiefs off the stick of Ty Logan. Ty Logan Tyson Bell playing the transition game Lakers doing a fantastic job of keeping them at bay in transition all game long but not this time as Tyson Bell all alone sees his buddy Ty Logan come back and Logan Wires that one, beats Kells, and the Six Nations Chiefs now have an 8-5 lead over the Peterborough Lakers. Bomberry leaves it back for Stotts. Now in the stick of Lyle. Shot, rebound, save again by Kells. Kells had to be sharp as he puts his helmet back on. He's still not got his helmet back on as there's an official back there making sure that he's okay as the play goes down to the other end. Shot 
from up top, stopped by Jameson, put into the corner and grabbed again by the Lakers. The Lakers doing a great job of getting the loose balls this evening. As the ball bounces along the boards. It's there's a yard sales. Thomas Hogarth gives Biles a whack, but looked like Biles' stick was made out of lead, and Hogarth's stick just folded like a cheap tent. Randy in the corner, out to Lyle. Lyle shot, that goes wide. Whistle goes in the possession of the Lakers. The Lakers in transition. That's Gilray. Gilray out to Milligan along the left side. Milligan finds some room. He attracts some attention from Tyson Bell. Goes across to Holden. Holden shot. Bounces off the stick of Jameson and in the stick of Matt Gilray, who goes to the bench. And the Lakers get a reset here. Second opportunity here for the Lakers. Courier holds on. He Leclerc going at it. Milligan. Tries to go far wide, finds McLaughlin, but couldn't connect with him as Tyson Bell draped all over McLaughlin. Eli, Eli McLaughlin has been one of the offensive stars for this Peterborough Lakers team, but tonight the Chiefs' defense has smothered him. There's a shot from Fennell, and that one goes wide. He scores! Austin Stotts with the shot from outside. Austin Stotts making something out of nothing on that one. As the lemonade stand opened again. And Austin Stotts with his first of the night. We're saying how Austin Stotts has been awfully silent tonight. But there it is, the shot from outside using Jake Withers as a screen. That one just under the arm. Of Kells. Kells kind of said, he looked at himself. He knew he could have had that one maybe. Off the bounce shot. He had a beat on it, but the skip off the carpet. A fortuitous bounce for Austin Stotts. And Austin Stotts has given the Six Nations Chiefs a 9 to 5 lead with 15 13 to go here in the third period. Hogarth cutting in, trying to get the pass, but nothing doing on that one. Pull with it. Out to Jackson. Jackson from the outside. Final. Dancing. Back up top to Jackson. Jackson shot. That one saved by Kells and Corelled by the Las Vegas Desert Dogs goaltender. National Cross League. Benell picks it up, gives it to Lyle. Lyle's looking around, gets the fresh shot clock here as he dances around. Withers. Austin Stotts now. Dances, finds. There's a shot and a stick. Hits Matisse in the face on the follow through and a save by Kells. Blows, and we're going to have a stoppage in play here. We're going to have a high stick call. That looks like Jay Thornbert going to the penalty box for the high stick infraction. The Chiefs on the power play once again. 13 29 remaining in this third period. Game number three of the major series lacrosse. 
final, the best of seven series, where the Six Nations Chiefs lead the best of seven series 2 nothing so far over the four time defending Man Cup champion Peterborough Lakers. As we sit here, waiting for Doug Jameson, had a word, must have had a little bit of a laugh with his good buddy Warren Hill on the bench. As those two have alternated every other game between the Chiefs pipes so far. It's the Chiefs in a nutshell. Offense by committee, defense by committee, and obviously goaltending by committee this season. Depth has been the key word. There's a shot and a goal! Shane Jackson with the quick stick. And the Six Nations Chiefs have broke the double-digit barrier. Boy, oh boy, what ball movement on the power play. And Shane Jackson catches in. Randy Stotts, the beautiful pass. Shane Jackson with the fist pump. Indeed, he should. That's just great ball movement. Nice pass and a heck of a quick stick to beat Landon Kells and the Six Nations Chiefs. Who were down by a pair at one point. Gave up three in a row and the Chiefs roared back with four of their own in the second period. And have come out here flying in the third period. Putting what almost seems like an exclamation mark on this one so far with 12 minutes to go and a five goal lead. Austin Hazen. Trying to get inside, saved by Jameson. Brad Cree matched up one on one with Hazen on there. Advantage going to the Peterborough Lakers. They're going to get a fresh shot clock here. 12 and a half to go here, third period. 10 5 Chiefs lead. Didn't think I'd be saying that tonight. Hogarth. Spinning off Biles. Karam off the board. It's picked up by Bell as he swings and misses and has to go through the roadblock known as Austin Hazen. Brendan Bomberry spins around. Back to Sundown. 12 to go here. Sundown, right side corner. Goes up top. Passes to Lyle. Wild dances, shoots, see. Colton Armstrong. He's going to step back, hand it off to his buddy Cam Milligan. Now, Courier with the ball. Courier in the corner, attracts attention, gets it off to Evans. Evans to Holden. Holden Katoni with it. He's draped all over in a save by Jameson. As Ty Logan was draped all over Holden Katoni. There's a nice pass. And oh, what a hit on Eli McLaughlin by Kyle Rubish. That was punishing. Kyle Rubish and Kellen LeClaire lowering a boom in a Lakers sandwich down in the Chiefs' end. This Chiefs' defense has been the most physical defense I've seen. Eight years I've been with the Six Nations Chiefs. There's been some nasty defenses led by Sid Smith, and there's a shot and crease violation again. Probably the fourth time Austin Stotts has had the crease violation in the eight years I've been with the Chiefs. They've had some nasty defenses, of course, led by Sid Smith, Billy D. Smith, but this defense in particular, Kyle Rubish. The Claire brothers, Biles, Cole, Jeremy Thompson, Brad Creed. It's punishing, there's finesse to it, but it's also very punishing, and they are ruthless. Here's a giveaway, steal by Hogarth, saved by Jameson. As Hogarth almost had another. Hogarth has supplied most of the offense for the Peterborough Lakers tonight. A great performance from him but almost outdone by the depth of the Six Nations Chiefs right now. Fennell up top, shot, that one goes wide as the whistle blows. Gilray. Gilray, a very swift runner. He almost runs like a deer out there. As he hands off to Milligan. Milligan tries to find the cutter up the middle. The 
this time it was Turner Evans but couldn't connect. Nine and a half to go here third period Chiefs 10 Lakers 5. Daryl Smart with you along for the ride. Thank you very much for joining us here on Rogers TV 20 on your TV Peterborough anywhere else in the world you're joining us. Thank you very much for joining us along for the ride as Lyle goes Dipsy Doodle Dandy and he scores. Lyle Thompson just hands the ball to the officials after Dipsy Doodling around Landon Kells and Lyle Thompson just making it look easy. He cut through that defense like butter. That was a butter knife. That was a hot butter knife. Lyle going through one, two, then a couple deeks. You're going to give a guy like Lyle Thompson that much space, that much room. Man. Lyle just putting on a one on one clinic there and just not really a celebration. Picks up the ball, hands it off, and that's all business for the Six Nations Chiefs right now. I think the Chiefs are smelling the blood right now in this game number three. They're just circling around the bloody waters of the Peterborough Lakers. The Lakers really had a great pushback for the second consecutive game. But again, the Six Nations Chiefs with a response from that Peterborough pushback. This time that pushback has been a big one. Down two goals in the second period. Now they've got themselves a six goal lead. Cole now with it. Four unanswered here by the Chiefs in the third period. Goes one on one, gets the pick. Nice behind the back pass. Oh, and that one just caroms off and in. And you know what? When things are going your way, things are going to go your way here. Is there's going to be a meeting of the minds here, and it looks like that's a goal. Randy Stotts intended pass for Ben McIntosh, and we're going to look at the replay. Intended pass to Ben McIntosh, I think. A little bit confusing on that one. As Randy has the ball, gets the pick from McIntosh, the push up goes all the way through Ben McIntosh. That's just a bad bounce. And when things are going right for you, like they are for Randy Stotts tonight, I don't know, Ben McIntosh will have to check the PA announcer who gets the credit for that one, is it? I'm not sure if McIntosh got a piece of that one. That's a tough one for Kells. He's been fantastic. Those are tough to handle, especially if it was just a tip, which McIntosh looks like he might have had it, but we shall hear in a second. It was Ben McIntosh on the tip. Can't fault Kells for that at all. Can't fault Kells at all for that goal as the Six Nations Chiefs extend their lead to 12-5 here. Looks like we're going to have some penalties. A five goal explosion in the third period from the Six Nations Chiefs. They have scored nine unanswered goals. And no, that is not a misprint. Nine unanswered goals to extend this one to 12-5. Not necessarily a, a rebound. That's that's what you call an exclamation mark on rebounding back from adversity. As Jeremy Thompson curls in, Tyson Bell with a delay of game penalty for his part in that little a little back and forth. Officials have done a phenomenal job throughout this series of controlling the game. You knew things were boiling over in game number two, and they did a really great job of controlling things. And of course, they had the scrap between Tutton and Biles at the end of the whistle. But other than that, they were they were enforcing things, making sure 
that things didn't get out of hand. They did a fantastic job with that. And tonight they've done the same thing. Tyson Bell going to the box. Here is Milligan. He finds Hogarth. Back to Milligan. Cross. Floor pass intended for McLaughlin, but foiled. Milligan gets it again as Dougie Jameson dives on that one. A spry Doug Jameson. Jumping all over the ball as the Chiefs get over half of the floor. Six and a half to go. 30 seconds remain in the Tyson Bell. Belly is there's Fennell with the shot. And a nice save by Kells. Fennell, feisty as ever. Gives a little head wash on his way to the bench to a Lakers defender. Lakers setting up. Old Katoni. Back to Milligan. Hogarth with a shot and a save by Jamison. Jamison has been there for the call. He's only allowed five so far tonight. The Chiefs goaltending has been top notch. You have two world class goaltenders. And the nice thing about that, just an aside from the, the fact that the Chiefs have two, a 1A and a 1B in goal, these are two local products. These two guys have played minor hot or minor lacrosse together. They've played junior lacrosse together. They've won Founders Cups, Minto Cups together. Uh, Warren Hill, Doug Jamison. This is the first time probably since the monster. Kenny Montour since the Six Nations Chiefs have had a local product in goal bringing it home here during a, a playoff run. So homegrown talent here on this Chiefs roster and of course the Peterborough Lakers chock full of local talent. And again uh, these teams in MSL the core groups of these top teams are all local products both the Peterborough Lakers and Six Nations Chiefs. And that's where it all starts with and again anchoring things here in Six Nations. The duo, the goaltending duo of Doug Jameson and Warren Hill. Of course, both NL superstars in goal, MSL superstars, both. Dougie was the one that won the best goals against in the league last year in MSL. This year it was Warren Hill. And again, like I said, this is the first time since Kenny Montour, the monster, who was a, a star for the Buffalo Bandits for many years in his career cut short because of concussions. But this is the first time the Chiefs have had homegrown goaltending anchoring a playoff run. Collision, Brian Cole. Colliding with with Milligan is the Lakers have the ball with 5-10 to go. Milligan goes across trying to find the feed to Eli McLaughlin. That's about the dozenth time. Dozenth, I don't know is a word, but Milligan has tried to find McLaughlin cross court about a dozen times and they just haven't been able to connect with each other tonight. Bomberry holding on to the ball. As the Chiefs look to just extend the floor here is Austin Stotts with the shot, with the shot clock winding down. Chiefs content on just stretching out the floor, winding down this clock, trying to get out of this game unscathed in an attempt to sweep the Peterborough Lakers on Wednesday night at the Peterborough Memorial Center. I can't even tell you the last time the Chiefs have swept the Peterborough Lakers. It's not going to be a topic in the Chiefs dressing room. It's going to be just all business, but uh, just history aside, I don't think it's ever happened that the Chiefs have ever swept the Lakers. Here's a save by Jameson, who's been rock solid tonight in the pipes for the Chiefs. Ryan Cole, penalty to Stotts expires. We're back to five on five action as Fennell drops in for Cole. Cole with the shot. Kells with a nice save. Three and a half to go. Loose ball picked up by 
none other than Lyle Thompson. As Randy looks to hold on to the ball here, 17 seconds left on the shot clock. As some of the Six Nations Chiefs faithful looking at one of the Peterborough Laker fans wearing a Laker jersey and just kind of giving them a round of applause. Love the crowds here at the ILA and the Peterborough Memorial Center. All I have to say is if uh, if you're a lacrosse fan or a sports fan in general, bucket list, get to the PMC for a game, a Peterborough Lakers game. It is fun. That's that's all there is to it. It's just a great atmosphere. And on Wednesday night, Rogers TV and of course your TV, Peterborough, who will be hosting the game, will have it on cable and I'll be trying to get it to you live and online on the major series of the Cross YouTube page. Everyone, cross your fingers. I could, I could, I could use the good karma. It would be great. We're giving free lacrosse. It would be great karma. There's a shot to goal from Brad Cree. Brad Cree looking to hold on to the ball. And then instead, uh, he sees the opening. Sees the opening, puts the exclamation mark, possibly a third exclamation mark on this one. As the Six Nations Chiefs are running away with this one by a score of 13 to 5. Brad Cree, a fantastic addition to the Six Nations Chiefs team. Dwayne Jacobs, the brain behind this team. Constructing this team in the off partway during the offseason. Of course, during the season. Brad Cree, who plays for the Toronto Rock, but also is a star with the Oakville Rock at MSL. And of course, the Oakville Rock took a leave, of, their second leave of absence. So he was available, and Dwayne Jacobs picked Brad Cree up from the Oakville Rock this year. And we'll more than likely, we'd be sure that Brad will be in an Oakville Rock uniform. If Jamie Dowick's listening. Please bring your team back to MSL. We'd love to have you back. Chugger Dietrich. GM of that team, of course, GM of the Buffalo Bandits. He's the chairman of MSL as well. Great guy. And we hope to have the Oakville Rock back into the MSL fold next season. Of course, the Oakville Rock senior B team and the Six Nations Rivermen will be playing at the President's Cup hosted at the track in Oakville. Of course, the Oakville Rock winning that best of three Ontario final over the Six Nations Riverman by a score of two to one with a thrilling game three victory at the track. So again, lots of lacrosse left in Ontario, including the President's Cup that gets underway soon. And of course, this has the potential to be the final home game of the season for the Six Nations Chiefs if they're able to clinch on Wednesday night on the road. This will be it. So once again, I'd love to thank everyone that is tuned in this season for MSL action on Rogers TV and on your TV. This partnership, I've said it over and over, and I hope I don't sound like a broken record, but it uh, this is a partnership that I hope lasts for a very long time, and we've taken some great strides, and we're still taking some baby steps, and we're hoping to bring you all of major series of lacrosse action to you the fans all around the world because you guys all deserve it thank you for joining us along for the ride as the clock winds down to 10 seconds here is just a loose ball and this one's going to be academic and it looks like the six nations chiefs will hold on to a 13 to 5 win in game number three of this major series lacrosse final and now have a three nothing stranglehold of this best of seven series with game number four in Peterborough at the Peterborough Memorial Center on Wednesday night at eight o'clock. And of course you can watch that one, like I said, hosted by our friends at your TV, Peterborough. You can watch it on Rogers TV as well as online on the Major Series Lacrosse YouTube page. For everybody, the staff at Rogers TV, 
My name is Daryl Smart. Thank you so very, very much for joining us here live on cable and online. And we will see you Wednesday night at the Peterborough Memorial Center for game number four of this major series lacrosse final between the Peterborough Lakers and the Six Nations Chiefs. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.